So I'm, today I'm going to compare two clays. This is a, a um, flour and salt and oil clay that I made that the recipe is on the site for. And this is Model Magic, which is made by the Crayola Company, which I absolutely love this clay. So I was, I'm going to open them and show you the difference between the colors because the colors are um, quite different between the boldness of the color. So you just open it. And you had to cut it first so you could get a pair of scissors or I used a knife, but I don't want to show you that on camera. So there might be children watching, so I'm not gonna I don't want to show you that. The best way to take it out is to split it down the side if you can and open it all up. Now this is a very bright color. I just love this color. I don't know how they get it, but they do. So that's a color. That's their bright yellow. It's just the way it comes, they're yellow. And this is the one I made from food coloring. And you can see the difference between the colors. It's a lot duller. So it's very grayish in the light. Here's in the sunlight. And the sunlight's too bright to show it to you. So there's the two differences. Between them. This is very soft and squishy. They're both, this is more soft. This one is a lot more soft. So if you have little kids and their hands aren't strong, you probably want to start with this on the right, the homemade clay. But Model Magic is very soft too. So this is just a lot more sticky. So I'm going to show you how to make a rose out of clay. So our scripture for today is Song of Solomon's 2 and the first one. And it says, She, I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. So I'm going to show you how to make a rose from clay. So I'm going to show you both clays to show you the difference on how they're going to hold up making a rose. So this is the model magic on my left and this is the bag it came out of and this is the clay that I made from sour, flour, salt, and water and um, oil. So you can tell by looking at them that it's a lighter clay. It's a lighter. This is a very bold bright color. I just love the color of it and I love the feel of this. So but this is a little more sticky the one on the right, this homemade clay. So I'm going to show you what I first start with when I make a shape of a rose is to start just you just put a lump of it in your hand and you make a petal shape and it's very this clay is very droopy it doesn't have any strength and but it does have a nice edge and I can only get it so thin okay so I'm going to take that edge and I'm going to curl it very slowly on its edge so that's the beginning of the rose and it won't stand up it kind of droops and it droops over but it is pretty. And then I'm going to take the tail end of it and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pinch it to make a petal. And I'm going to take that part, I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to wrap it around this very slowly and gently, kind of like a taco is wrapped around. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to overlap it a little bit. I don't want it to have, I don't want it to be perfectly overlapped. So I'm going to just keep that process. I'm going to keep pinching, pinch it off. And wrap it around. So this is a small petal and I'm going to keep pinching a little bit bigger this time. Each petal becomes a little bit bigger and you want to overlap them when you're working on over the last one but not in exactly the same spot. So you don't want to start right there. You want to go over it, tuck it around it so it's going around the outside. And then I'm going to do that here. I'm just keep doing this, and you could obviously you can work with any kind of clay with this the technique, but some clays are going to hold it better than others. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just pinching this a little bit bigger every time, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I mangled that one. It just needs to be a little bit bigger, and it's going out from the center. Now this clay is very droopy, so it does not hold its shape very well. It's not strong enough to hold its shape very well. So we're going to see what it does compared to the Model Magic. Now my Model Magic is actually sitting out right now and it's getting stiff. 
So every time you leave it out, it stiffens up a little bit. So it probably shouldn't sit that long. So I'm going to go immediately and wash my hands. There's my homemade clay rose. Okay, and it's not very strong. I'm just going to set it over in my flour just to dry for a couple minutes. I'm going to wash my hands. So I'm going to read for you again. Song of Solomon's 2, verse 1. She, I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valley. So for today we're going to make a rose. This is Model Magic. This is, I'm going to try to make the rose out of the Model Magic and we'll see how much it is different as I go along. So this is my rose from the um, homemade clay. It's not too bad. It might, it might be okay, but it's kind of droopy. It kind of droops over. If you look at it at the side, it's kind of like really hard to control it because it was vertical. The center was vertical when I put it on there, but it kind of drooped. It doesn't have a lot of strength. So this is the Model Magic and I'm going to do it the same way, the same process. So I'm going to pinch the petals. This does pinch very thin, a lot thinner than the other. If you go back and look at that video when it started, the, 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 um, it's easier to pinch the petals on the, on the Model Magic. I can get really thin with it. And it does crack a little bit, and you can see my, you can see my um, fingerprints in it. I can see the fingerprints. I don't know if you can or not. They're in there. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to roll it with my thumb on the edge. Start rolling it slowly. Make a curl, a spiral from the inside. That's the center of the rose. And I'm just going to peel that off so it does stand up by itself. And it'll stand up even if I put it on the table top. It'll stand up by itself. It does have strength that the homemade clay does not. So that'll stay right there. So I'm going to keep making petals. I'm going to start with small ones and then I'm going to curl them around that side of the bud. Make a bud in the center first. And then peel, pinch them. I'm just going to peel it off. I'm just going to break it off at the end. And it will still stand up all by itself. So it does have strength, which is really nice about Model Magic. It's a very nice clay, especially for children. I highly recommend it. And I've been teaching, I taught art for 34 years, elementary art, and it was just a joy to use this with children. It was one of our favorite projects. So I'm going to take it now, I'm going to overlap. I'm not going to put it right where the last one left off. I'm going to overlap and bring it around the outside and peel this back. And there we have a bud. Now you could leave it like that. You have a little rosebud. <clears throat> Excuse me, you have a little rosebud right there. You could just leave it like that if you wanted a rosebud. But I'm going to add more petals. <clears throat> I'm going to keep adding more layers. I'm going to pinch it. It does hold its shape. just love how it holds its shape. I'm going to bring this around. See that I start over here. I didn't start right where it left off. That's important. I bring it around. I just peel it off. Well, that's a really, it's really making a nice shape for a rosebud. Make another one. We just keep going, layer upon layer, and each one gets a little bigger. And I like to start curling them out as it goes out away from the center. So I'm overlapping. Not starting exactly where the last one left off. I'm just peeling it. I'm going to bring that out just a little bit. See, this is curling out a little. I'll overlap it. Bring it out a little bit. Our next one should be a little wider. Doesn't have to be perfectly round. Looks a little more realistic if it's not. See how they don't overlap perfectly. You don't want overlapping perfectly. And I do want to curl that out a little bit. So 
Same thing again. You just keep going. together. So it's wider and wider as you go farther and farther out. Curls out on the edge a little bit. See how each each petal is curving out a little. It's really big. It's really stretching it. So I'm gonna overlap underneath that one. Curl it around as far as I can. And I'm gonna stretch it while I go under there. Bring it down. Maybe bring it to a little point. And the last one should be really, really big too. Maybe even get some little points on the edges. So I'm pinching it. Different shapes, aren't they? Put this one here. That's probably enough to make it look like a rose. You get as far as you want, and you probably have some extra. Now, I could leave this on here and make a stem, or I could get some other clay and make a, a green stem if I had green clay right now. I don't have any, so I just wanted to show you the blossom, the difference in the details that you can get with the Model Magic and just homemade clay. You can see that this has much thinner petals and, it, it, and it's a brighter color. So it does give you a, a nicer product when you're finished. So that's my video on how to make a rose out of clay, Model Magic and homemade clay. Hope you liked the video. And if you do, please like it and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much. Have a great day. God bless you.